We are members of the University of Florida's chapter of Engineers Without Borders. Our project is centered in Cachitamba, Bolivia. Three students and one professor went on an assessment trip in May 2010. Cachitambo is located outside the city of Potosi, one of the highest habitable cities in the world. Once a major silver supplier to the New World Spanish Empire, it is now an afterthought of the Bolivian economy. Though the mines are not nearly as prosperous as they were a century ago, the Potosi economy still relies on them as its main source of revenue. Cachitambo's barren land makes it difficult to grow crops and have a sustainable life. Originally, our goal was to assist each family in building greenhouses with the common Andean Pancar Uyo design. This greenhouse is made to be low cost and effective under extreme altitude conditions. We discovered that their own attempt in successfully maintaining a community greenhouse failed due to unreliable and contaminated water supply. The greenhouse now sits abandoned, empty, and unused. The water throughout the town is heavily contaminated due to mine discharge. A nearby mine disposes its contaminated water, which creates a stream that runs north through the village. The water may contain several species of heavy metals, and is understood by the community to be unsafe. The municipality built them two wells in the 1980s. One well collapsed and the remaining well sat unused for many years. During our trip, in an attempt to get water quality samples, we discovered it was completely dry. The well was a mere 10 meters deep, which is thought to be insufficient to draw water from such a dry and mountainous area. The pin you hear is the rock hitting the well bottom. The town's main source of water comes from an unreliable tap. Despite high turbidity and a high level of suspended solids, it is currently their main source of water, as there are a few options available. A Chinese company drilled a well many years ago, and according to our water test, seems to be a good quality. Unfortunately, this water drains into the Marne discharge, and would not provide enough water for the village. Our partnership with Universidad Autónoma Tomas Frías have given us access to their labs and equipment which will help us in the future. We had a town hall meeting in the schoolyard with the villagers to discuss their needs as a community. Max Kraus, the assessment trip leader, spoke to the crowd, while Luis Delfin translated. One of their main concerns was their past experiences of broken promises of NGOs and other organizations. We explained that as an engineering project, we cannot make any promises and we cannot guarantee success only that we will try our hardest to make the project possible. Gachitambo's mayor presented us with a list of directives that they would like to see us accomplish, the most important of which is the drilling of the wells. The list was signed by the leaders of the community, which shows their commitment to the project. Both the team and the townspeople believe this project is feasible. We surveyed various townspeople to get a clear picture of job and health-related issues, and concluded that most villagers that left Gachitambo would return if there is a reliable and safe water supply. After our trip, there is still much to be done. Well, I think uh, in Bolivia, the next step will be to drill wells and hopefully get water resource development such that we can actually get the people back into the residencies with water supply that's dependable. Um, but here, uh, before we travel to Bolivia, we're just going to have to raise some funds to make sure that we can actually achieve that first goal. Back in Gainesville, Florida, the EWBUF Bolivia team is hard at work in finding ways to raise funds by writing grants and organizing charity events in order to get a team back to Cachitambo as soon as possible. The expense of drilling new wells drastically increases our planned project costs from $12,000 to roughly $40,000. We are looking for new designs for our anticipated wells as well as maintaining contact with the Bolivian engineers to determine costs. Thanks to Engineers Without Borders, Cachitambo Bolivia is on its way to sustainability and a bright future.